Hello, it's Billy from Sunty Samples. Let's take a closer look at the Haunted Strings 2 trailer. So scoring this trailer, which is the tune from the original trailer, but now in the version 2.5 update, we get a fresh new video and a new amalgamation of how these tracks can work within the piece because the overlay threshold functionality has grown so much in the time between the first version and now that we can amalgamate these pieces without the use of key switching and still be able to gain access to different combinations of sounds, cutting down extremely on the track count and just making the entire workflow more performance led and seamless. Let's jump in by taking a listen. intro for a second. So we open up with the Trem, the Twisted Solpons and the Eerie Longs. Now what we've done here is subdivide using the overlay threshold to allow for just the Twisted Solpons on the lower end of the velocity spectrum. So everything below 65 will trigger just the Twisted Solpons. With everything above 65 triggering both the Eerie Longs and Twisted Solpons in unison, creating the blended texture that in-house is a favorite to go to for a nice wide string sound. Let's take a listen to that. It's really such a beautiful texture, that one, where they're playing right down by the bridge on the uh, Sol Ponce cello end of the instrument. That is joined by some erratic trems. Let's just pull that up. What I love about that texture is the samples are so long in it because it evolves over a very wide period of time as the players all develop their own erratic wide to thin trem style. And I love the fact that you can really hear the rosin on the bow here in the strings. You just really get the sense that you're there in the room with the instrument. It's such a human and beautiful and nuanced sound within the library. Okay, so those two things working in harmony and then that is joined by a performance effect that slowly creeps in. Let's just see what that is. So we're making use of the chatter chaos here. And as you'll probably be aware from the manual already, everything in red is of actual pitch, how it was recorded on the day. And everything below that or above that, in the case of the scratch riser, is a pitch shifted time altered version that gives you kind of a sonic explorative experimental sound designed type texture. So we get these beyond reality versions of these textures. They're already pretty crazy and cool to start with. Here we're getting over an octave stretch down for this Chatter Chaos sound. Super cool, I love that sound. Okay, so then that is also accompanied with... So here we are getting a scratch riser. This one is slightly above the recorded uh, pitch and time. Really cool, aggressive angry sound that you can only get if you've sampled it. You can't make this stuff from any other software instruments. It has to be there or it can't exist. Okay, so heading on into the kind of bulk of the piece where we get our ostinato in the stack artissimo. So let's just take a quick listen to that and pull that up. is accompanied with uh, strong stabs on ricochets with a hint of distortion. 
Let's just go over to that and have a look at the effects. So here we are, we're getting a slight amount of drive and dampening from the distortion and it is set to ricochets. That's also accompanied by the Colenio and there are ricochets in the bulk of the overlay threshold settings, but Colenio live at the very top. So if you hit really hard above 110, you'll get Colenio. Anything below that, you'll get ricochet in this particular setup. So you get two very big stab sounds. Let's take a listen to all of that in combination. <laughs> And in between all of that, we get our Herman-esque dipping to the cap of the king of the genre. We get the psycho screams where we're bending up to the root note in an incredibly aggressive way. But we've done it not just in the high strings where you would normally hear that sort of texture. We've played it across the entire range and demoed out the entire idea so you can use it in any context within your music. <laughs> Okay, so everything in the mix here because we go into the main kind of sweeping melody here, which makes use of the Eerie Longs and Twisted Soul Ponce. In context, this is like that. As we head back to our leitmotif again that gets doubled in every octave of the range going all the way from the high violins down to the low double bass, we get the performance effects kicking back off here, which is making use of Chatter Chaos at their actual recorded pitch, Chatter Chaos at an altered version of the pitch an octave lower, and then even some behind the bridge chaotic sounds where you bow beyond the bridge of the instrument, creating really intense and aggressive overtones. All of that's happening in this one texture. If we isolate that, it sounds like this. Such a cool sound. That is joined with another performance effect, which is a riser. Let's just take a listen to that. This is a string gliss. So with our string gliss, we are getting every instrument playing, in this case, on the third string, moving from the lowest point of that string all the way up to the highest point, creating a crescendo collectively, but moving through in their own chaotic little story arc. And that gives you a really interesting sound that we can take a listen to. for every string of the instrument. So we've got four versions of that for long and four versions of that for quick. And they are a case of just every instrument moving through in a chaotic fashion. Okay, so taking the last section here, we head into some delicate string textures that are kind of eerie and suspenseful in nature. which just make use of the Eerie Longs Twisted Cell Ponts and the Erratic Trems on the Cell Pont, where we're playing fast to slow trems on the Cell Ponts cello position. Okay, that has been a deep dive into the Haunted Strings 2 trailer version 2.5 update that makes use exclusively of the Haunted Strings 2 library. You can see that we've managed to cut the track count down quite extremely here from the original version, despite the fact that everything is still there in terms of the instrumentation and the overall sonic quality of the piece. We've just been able to economize on track count purely because of the power of the overlay threshold functionality. Head to insanitysamples.com to pick up your copy of this trailblazing chamber strings library, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.